The clamp system has its own set of adjustments to control the clamp force, the clamp closing and opening speeds, and the high and low pressure during mold closing and lockup. When a signal is given for the mold to close, the moving platen should move quickly. This helps reduce cycle time. But before the mold halves touch, the clamp should be slowed down to avoid damaging the mold. This is particularly important on hydraulic clamp machines. The changeover from low pressure to high pressure clamping is also a control setting. The mold closes under low pressure. If the closing force increases, for example, if there is an obstruction between the mold halves, then the high pressure close will not be activated. If the clamp senses no obstruction, the clamp applies high pressure to lock up the mold. The technician must accurately set the point at which the clamp changes from low pressure to high pressure clamping. Clamp force. Clamp force is another control adjustment. This is the amount of force that holds the two mold halves shut, measured in tons or metric tons. The clamp force builds up when the moving platen pushes the mold halves against the stationary platen. The amount of clamp force needed depends on the plastic force that is trying to open the mold. On a hydraulic clamp machine, the clamp force is changed by changing the hydraulic pressure in the clamp cylinder. On a toggle clamp machine, the clamp force is changed by rotating the tie bar nuts and moving the rear platen. On a toggle clamp machine, the clamp force will also change if the mold temperature changes. Why? Because the mold thickness changes due to thermal expansion. Toggle machines clamp the mold using either servo-driven ball screw or a hydraulic clamp. On some machines, they measure the clamp force on every shot. As the mold expands during production, the machine will automatically adjust the clamp force as the mold thermally expands or contracts.